There is something quite humbling about standing on top of a burial mound and staring into a 5,000-year-old crypt. This is the site of the Alcalá megalithic monuments near Portimao in Portugal. The site features two impressive mounds that form cairns and feature stunning corridors that resemble miniature versions of Newgrange in Ireland. Features include a ritual hearth, stelae and chambers for collective burials. This is in common with other Neolithic sites like the West Kennet Long Barrow in England and suggests a similar culture based on ancestor worship. The monuments lie in an ancient landscape that was once the centre of a thriving settled community in the Neolithic period. In the 3rd millennium BC, this strip of land between the mountains and the sea offered a broad range of means for subsistence, which led to dense human occupation. The inhabitants actively exploited the coastline as the inlet had excellent fishing and abundant shellfish. The interior, which had springs of drinkable water and numerous streams, offered fertile soil that was suitable for grazing animals and growing cereals and vegetables, which would have involved irrigation. The vegetation, denser than it is now, would have included Mediterranean-style woods and offered abundant game. A wide range of raw materials could have been used as building materials, such as varieties of sandstone, limestone, grey wax, sienite, schist and wood, and to produce artefacts, such as flint, rolled grey wax and metal. Copper was derived from small iron hat mines in the hinterland schist strip, while the riverbeds made it possible to collect alluvial gold. Although the flow of water from the three main sources, the Arau, Forello and Torre, was limited, they could be used to transport people and goods in shallow boats. A series of megalithic collective tombs and funereal temples were built and used throughout the 3rd millennium BC. This made the space sacred through the protective presence of the settlers' ancestors and established a border around the large central settlement. They form an outstanding monumental group due to the visibility of the burial mounds, the wealth and diversity of the articles found, and the divisions and complex structures of the tomb's inner space, which revealed a wide range of architectural approaches. In addition to underground chambers that were cut into the rock for collective burials, this exceptional group's funereal architecture also included construction using large monoliths and toloi, or beehive tombs, with crypts using circular ground plans and covered with a vault. Despite the site being the subject of research and excavation since the 1880s, it continues to yield new discoveries. It is a fascinating location and is well worth a visit. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe and thank you for watching.